Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services, best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection servers, features, and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how an administrator can create a recipient verification block using the Proofpoint protection server, or PPS. Recipient verification confirms the existence of a recipient address before processing the message through the PPS filtering engines. The recipient verification feature allows you more control over the resources you use for message filtering. If email messages are addressed to invalid recipients, PPS can simply discard these messages and continue filtering the messages for the valid recipients. If a message is addressed to multiple recipients, the message is filtered and delivered to the valid recipients. Recipients that are not valid are removed from the message. Recipient verification relies on having all SMTP addresses in the user repository. If an SMTP address is missing and the recipient verification is set to silently discard or reject, then there is no way to have the email delivered to the user without asking the original sender to resend the message. To create a recipient verification block, select the Email Protection tab on your PPS appliance and then access the Email Firewall module, Recipient Verification, and the General page. Within the General page, enable the verification by selecting the On Radio button. Next, select the checkbox to restrict processing to selected policy routes. Choose the default inbound policy route from the available box. Then, click the double arrows to move the policy to the Require Any Of box. You'll want to leave the Disable Processing for Selected Policy Routes as the default, which includes both internal net and outbound policy routes. Check the message with a 550 User Unknown return code and text. Also, you'll want to leave the Verification Failure settings to Retry. Afterwards, be sure to select the Save Changes button at the top of the screen. Select the Verification Profile page and make sure that the default Profile ID checkbox is enabled. Next, click on the Profile row to edit. Select the Verify Recipients for Specific Domains radio button and enter all inbound domains. Leave the Data Connector set to User Repository and then select the Save Changes button. A verification rule defines how to process email messages addressed to valid and invalid recipients. To create a verification rule, select the Rules page and then click on the Verified Rule row. Make sure that the rule setting is on or enabled. Select the radio button to determine how you would like to block invalid recipients. Either silently discard or reject with an error number and message. In this case, we will select the Reject the Message radio button. In return, the invalid recipient will receive a 550 number code along with a user unknown return message. Once finished, click the Save Changes button at the top of the screen. You have now established a recipient verification block within PPS. Thank you for watching our brief how-to video tutorial on how an administrator can create a recipient verification block in the PPS appliance. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash kb.proofpoint.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.